Welcome to Dan's Diary, week 55 of the house build and uh, we are actually inside now. We're inside and we're doing little bits and bobs. Um, I'm killing myself moving the stuff from the old house to the new house in the back of my pickup um, with Mike and a few others. So big shout out to them. For helping me and uh, it's a shame the 603 new subscribers can't be with me to help me out <laughs> but never mind thank I don't know what's happened this week all of a sudden we've got masses of subscribers so I hope you enjoy this week's as much as you must have enjoyed last week's um, bring me a message tell me how I'm doing tell me uh, if things are going bad if things are going good I want to know uh, I think basically to round up what's happened this week for you um, we've moved in um, I'm moving stuff over from the other house with a few of my friends what friends I've got <laughs> uh, so I'm moving those across um, Joy is spending her time putting them in the right positions, uh, cleaning them, that kind of thing. The, uh, the maid, Ebbs, is spending time cleaning all the clothes that were thrown on the floor in the move um, <clears throat> and generally cleaning and tidying. Uh, I think we've got the inside just about right now. Uh, there's, I need to buy a couple of shelves for various rooms which I'll do this week um, or next week should I say and then I guess we start on the outside I'm kind of limited to what I can do really because we are in theory in the rainy season but you wouldn't believe it uh, but I will be planting some plants and putting in some solar powered lights and lights in the uh, barbecue area um, so there you go. So if you want to know what happened this week, here's a full rundown. Well, the window blinds people turned up today with all of the blinds for the house. So <clears throat> and they think by the end of today, all of that will be installed. And I think they'll do it as well. So, we'll watch the progress as they go. And Joy, on the, in the meantime, is cleaning the inside face of the glass. So we don't have to do that later. I think it's mostly been done. The only one that hasn't been done is the stairs, and I think she's going to go on to that in a minute. Well, the blind man's been. Uh, this is the room four. So we've got these blinds in room four. And I must admit, it, it has reduced the heat in this room quite a lot. I've got all the windows closed. And uh, yeah, it has reduced the heat quite a lot. So quite pleased with that. This room's still being used as a storeroom, I'll be honest with you. If I stand over here and show you, there is. So the bed's in the right place. We just have to put the bed linen on. Bed linen's being washed. That lot is additional bed linen and stuff. <clears throat> There's Max, making sure that everything's okay. Right, then we go into um, bedroom three. Oops, there's Ebbs. Doing some cleaning. So bedroom three is James's. This is a little bit more advanced. Um, he's got his bed set up. He's got the, got the nice blinds. He's got a, a rug for his, which will go here. And then all that is his clothes, which he hasn't unpacked yet. Um, guest room. And Jane, we've got the 
lines. That's the rug which we haven't unpacked. I suspect that table might go there and that chair might go there, but um, all the bathrooms, or on suites, have got black blinds. Uh, like that. So that looks quite nice, doesn't it? Then we've got the main room. We should have got these lovely blinds here. We've got my two seater set up. Roughly in the right place. It'll have a, it'll have a table in the middle and a rug here. Um, we decided to change this big settee. That, incidentally, is a good film. Um, I'm, I am trying to get into it. So that's the settee that we've got at the front, uh, made up by the furniture guys. There's Maisie. Maisie! There she is. Then the dining room is semi set up. So we've got the table, got some more blinds. The kitchen's fully finished now. So Joy and Ebbs are now just putting away items where they should live. That's where the other settee's gone. We decided to put it there instead. So tomorrow, I'll put the TV here. I might move that somewhere, but I'll put the TV there. Man cave's finished, more or less. There's, a, there's just a shelf is needed. Just a shelf needed over there somewhere for all my, my medals. Oh, while we're in here, I'll show you my new amp. My new state-of-the-art amp. Yeah. We'll have that running tonight, see, see how good she is. <clears throat> That's the view, it looks quite nice, doesn't it? Yeah. Right, we've got there's the stairs, there's some blinds going up the stairs. All the way to the top. It is cutting down the heat already, I have to be honest. It's the middle of summer, although it's supposed to be the rainy season. Bedroom. The girls are in the middle of cleaning this. The day after, I'll fit the TV on that wall there. So, that's it. Yeah, there's my TV. I don't know where to sit, actually, at the minute. There's so many different places. That fan's going in the bedroom. Um, yeah, so we're nearly finished. We're nearly finished. Just a damn good clean everywhere, and just put away bits of bits and bobs. Buy a shelf here and there. I think we'll have some shelves here sooner or later. Um, and there's three boys outside doing some work. Right, I thought I'd show you a few bits of uh, the shower people. 
because they turned up yesterday to finish everything. Um, so they installed the extra piece of glass, a support bar that goes above the piece of glass that holds it in place at the top. Um, and then he uh, cleaned it and masticed all the joints. Well done to them. Well, uh, what's happened in the last few days has been rather um, amusing. Uh, what's the th three things, maybe four, that you could have problems with in a house? There's the water supply, there's the power supply, there's the rubbish collection, and there's something else. It'll, it'll, it'll come to me in a minute. So, let's look at them step by step, shall we? Um, water supply, we, there is none, so we had our own supply installed. So that problem's over. Electricity supply, if you remember way back, way back when we were doing the piling, uh, for the, not the piling, the uh, water, the drilling, the guy there said that the power supply was a bit dodgy. Do you remember? And um, in the end, he, he got his own little generator outside well it turns out it wasn't telling a lie um, the the there's some uh, uh, transformers that have been installed on the roadway that feed various houses the nearest one to us that we can make out is a million miles that way so uh, Joy's gone down there with the uh, director of Penelco, or one of the directors of Penelco today, that's the electrical company, to see what they can do about putting a, a transformer outside our house so we get uninterrupted power. Because it's so weak here at the minute, we can't even run a microwave. Um, you could turn the lights on with one AC working and the fridge is working all the time and the, AC, uh, the CCTV is working all the time the pump's working all the time for the water and that's drawing a current well there isn't a lot of current to go round and every now and then you'll see all the lights go dim yeah, it's unacceptable. You can't use a microwave. It don't work because um, the power's not to. And I'm thinking, I wonder if that's the problem I had with my amp. Do you remember a week ago I told you it kept going off? I wonder if that was because of the power fluctuations. Who knows? I bought a new amp anyway. But So she's gone down to... Uh, Penelco, filled in some forms. I'll get the full SP later when she gets back. Um, but we've got to get that sorted. So that is now number one priority. Uh, we also found out that there's no rubbish, there's no formal rubbish collection uh, here. So we're having a little um, hole built at the back of this unit where it goes down and we'll be burning our rubbish which is what everyone seems to do around here there's a resort down there so I might ask them if they have theirs collected uh, if so could he stop by this place on his way yeah I might do that in a minute I might take walks a little oh no they're not take walks Max a walk down there. I'll go in the car. Because it is quite a way. Uh, I can't think of the fourth thing. So, problem with the water solved. Problem with the electricity. Hopefully on the way to being solved. And 
rubbish collection will either burn it or will have it collected but at the moment it's we haven't got any because we're not we're, we're not creating any rubbish there's some cobble boxes left over from the move but uh, they're just sitting in the garage there's no rubbish that will create maggots and all that bad smell there's none of that so uh, we've got one guy painting the hello James we've got one guy painting the fence at the back I'm promised more workers in a few days from Joel so we'll see I might get the bike over here tomorrow um, I'll ask Joy to drive me to Beverly can pack the pack the car and then I'll bring the bike over she's also gone to talk to her brother who's going to do um, a, uh, a clothes stand um, so we can hang the wet clothes um, the pipe that does the washing machine uh, is too high so when you feed the hose, it goes like that, um, it won't drain. So we just need the pipe lowering a little bit. I can't do it because I haven't got a hacksaw and I haven't got a drill. Because we need a bracket to hold it against the wall. Because um, <clears throat> he's put one on, but it's too high now, isn't it? So the guy was going to do that today, but he's, he's gone off to somewhere else. So, I'll get back to you tomorrow. Okay, what wasn't as successful as the shower installation was the glass to the stairs and the balcony. Uh, here you can see the guys turned up with uh, brackets and drills and wooden plates there that they sliced to size before and uh, got the glass company to make the glass. Unfortunately, they did an error and most of the glass doesn't fit. So they've installed what they can, they're getting new glass, and that's the end of that. Right, well, after three attempts at sawing the um, pipe down to lower and lower and lower points, I, I, I it was my belief it should have been high, but the machine wasn't draining. So Joy decided to take it lower and lower and lower. And the lower it's gone, um, I can't see any leaks. I can see water here. I don't know what that is. No, no. No, that was a while ago. That was a while ago. There you go. Um, so it would appear this is on the mend. So. We can start to uh, do the washing and tomorrow I'm going to buy some shelf, some shelving to go up here, maybe four shelves and we can start to put the towels and the cleaning stuff here. Um, this area here will be where we put the dirty linen so it's not sitting there at the moment looking very untidy. There we go, thought you'd like to see the chicken coop. Very, um, where Max is? Um, the existing chicken will be just on the outside and then the um, three hens will be where Max is now. <coughs> Clucking away, delivering eggs. Um, Mike and me put this up yesterday and we, we kind of did <laughs> A bit of an error you see this catch that catch signifies that the door opens towards us and you can see that hole in that bottom of that just there well that's where the hinge goes so it can't open there can it so we either change that round or move this pole over to there so we chose to move the pole over to the other position which we'll do on Monday and the gate I've got to check that this 
Uh, well, I suppose we could do it live on camera, couldn't we? If I put it that way, then yes, it it can. No, it can't. Oh, I don't know. We'll we'll sort it out on Monday. But but basically, that's the door. That's the frame. A little bit of finessing, fine finessing on Monday. Should have the door in place. Then I can put the netting, which is over here. That green stuff. And then uh, I can put my hen. Henza inside it. The thing I've got at the minute can go at the side. And during the day, I'll just pick him up and move him inside. And at night time, I'll move him outside. There you go. That's the plan. So we've got... <clears throat> I'm still collecting stuff from the other house. I do a couple of journeys a day, so I don't tire myself out. That said, I'm still going to bed about 8 o'clock, banjaxed. Uh, Joy's tidying up the house and putting things in their right place and cleaning the house. Um, so she's working, working well. Oh, Uh, that's the that's what it looks like at the moment Big Max thinks he's found something he couldn't find his arse in a bloody <clears throat> there he is walking away so um, we're going to get the uh, spray man to spray all the weed killer man to spray all this weed killer about the place, get rid of all these bushes because they've taken shape again, haven't they? This is my those are my shell, uh, my steps we'll, we'll smarten those up, don't you worry about that pal so all that will be smartened up there's my fire pit I can slap all this rubbish in there and the rubbish in the garage and we can have a little barbecue so we can slap some force slap some four star in there and it'll be great that should save me a bit of money on the rubbish collection yeah very good well I hope you I hope you all enjoyed that um, it's been a pleasure doing these videos for you I am going to carry on um, I've got some uh, ideas of little improvements I want to do to the house. The garden needs a lot of work, so I'm going to start doing uh, some stones made out of um, wire and then put cement or concrete on the outside. And you can make a stone six foot high and it weighs next to nothing. But it looks like a big rock. I'll be doing a couple of those about the place. Um, I've got a stump over there, you know, that came from a palm tree. If I was to put a mesh around that and put concrete on it, that could be a massive five foot rock. That, that would look quite cool, wouldn't it? And if I could, um, if I could get away with that, or I could make it into a leg, a fossiled leg of a dinosaur. What do you think? Because it's, it's that shape. Answers on a postcard to the usual address. So, thank you for attending. Thank you for um, your patience. And I really, really look forward to seeing you next week. Um, I don't say like. I don't say make a comment. And I definitely don't say subscribe. Because the number of subscriptions last week was excellent absolutely excellent so if you've liked this video um, share it with your mates or hit the button down below it doesn't cost anything and it helps me because I want to see if I can make a thousand and you've got to make a thousand over a year otherwise um, YouTube don't count it so every week it goes like this so these early videos I did some of them uh, got quite a meaty um, subscription and 
um, an hourly viewing which I also take into consideration so if you can help if you could understand any of that rubbish so uh, look forward to seeing you next week and I love you all game over